Hello, TTRPG World. Today I want to talk about The Librarian's Apprentice, a solo journaling game in an infinite library from Daniel Bronson Lowe. You can find him online under Almost Bedtime Theater, uh, and as he says, this was founded to introduce families of all kinds to TTRPGs, and they design games and adventures with new and younger players in mind, which I love. All about expanding the hobby here at Tabletop Bookshelf. And this gives me a good chance to talk about Tabletop Bookshelf. So what are we? We are an independent online bookstore uh, focused on expanding the hobby. We're really interested in focusing on crowdfunded projects and independent publishers and creators. And so we're really happy to bring uh, Daniel's work to the bookshelf, especially because this is a, a solo game and we're looking to expand our collection of solo games we have a couple pieces from pandion games available but this is a this is another great addition and so i'm going to unbox this package but i wanted to document this and share this with everybody because this is just a lovely uh lovely package this comes in um beautiful card stock here and uh, gives you a description on the back. Infinite, ever-shifting, and sometimes dangerous, the library exists in a space between worlds and times. Among the many who call it home are the librarians, and only those who tro truly understand it may join their wings. ranks. You seek to do so. The path of a librarian's apprentice is a long one. Your current task is designed to test your skills at traversing the library and locating documents. Find the information requested by your librarian before the day is out and you will have completed one more step on your journey. Good luck. So setting up the adventure there, uh, and a nice hook to draw you in. So let's let's do it. Let's open it up. All right, so look at this. What a great unfolding, right? Looks like an authentic package here. Love the design styling here. Uh, and then you can even see there's some handwritten notes here. You are not lizards, Kevin. Love that. Love that touch. Uh, and within this collection here, there are these three brochures. Let's see here, volume one. Volume two, descriptions, events, and complications. And value three, your dramatist persona. So, uh, and within this are some bookmarks some great quotes on there and you know this really is a you can tell that this is a in many ways a love letter to libraries and uh, a, really about reading <laughs> and the joy and discovery that you get through it and so on the other side here, you can see you've got your your character sheets here um, with some skills, and some types. And so again, this is giving you a sense or your familiar name and type. So again, this is giving you a sense. Character sheets are always a great way to give you an insight into what the game is about. And so your skills here, navigation, research, and lore, uh, and you it's giving you instructions here of how you fill it in. And then... Uh, you get to pick your familiar and give them a bonus as well. So um, really, really great. Something that you know you can play with, and then when you're done, you have this great bookmark. High quality, again, nice thick cardstock. All right, so let's look through these um, brochures here. I was bringing that a little bit close, so let's let's bring it open here. So. Volume one here, got your acknowledgments. A little bit of inspiration from Pandion Games, which you also sell on the bookshelf. Gives you your introduction and your basics about what you need here. This is a game that requires you to have, uh, like a lot of solo games, requires you to have a deck of cards, a couple six-sided dice, a little token. There's a resource system, and then you get to go through the game here. You're finding documents, dealing with fatigue, overcoming complications. You get to pick your truth. So again, building out your character for your journaling adventure. And then you have your actions here. 
travel, conduct research, address a complication, ask questions. And then in volume two, we get our tables. These are, it looks like a, yep, a D66 table, a 2D6 table here. Descriptor feature category, lots of flavor. Kind of, there we go. Labyrinthine, mysteries, hourglasses, events and secrets. Let's take a look at some of these. The furnishings are smashed and torn, the damage is recent. And then these ones, star, they have a how did you discover the secret? So when you're hitting these, there's this extra piece to it. The keepers of the forbidden maintain a collection of documents that are impossible to destroy. Nice evocative idea that leads to other creative ideas. Different document formats, another D66 system here. It's a taste of a piece of ice. Drawings on knotted yarn. A melody of a map. Good mixing of ideas going on there. List of complications and a bestiary. There are some monsters in the library. And then these are, looks like different inhabitants and patrons you can have. Descriptors of them. Ocular independent guide. Different quirks. Seems unaware they hum. Smells of lumberjacks. That's great. And then your different interests. Legendary weapon design. Folklore about get-rich-quick schemes. So again, you know, smashing together these different ideas and seeing what emerges. I think that is really the core of these um, journaling games, creative writing games, where you are given these combination of ideas and bringing them into a coherent narrative and a coherent character, you know, character evolution and documenting that. And I think this allows you to travel through that in a really contained way and also <laughs> get your library card here to the great library. So this, uh, this is another nice little touch here. Um, when someone completes this, I, you are hereby deemed an apprentice librarian of the great library. So another nice little token to remember the experience. And then let's look on the inside here. <laughs> for library loan delivery. There's little ideas here. Some normal names. Look at this one, though. It's like bits and bytes. So again, opening up that this is this is something beyond normal. But also, again, looking at this, these design touches here, like these watermark stains. Looks like this is a, like a coffee cup stain here. Again, it looks looks real, but... So just a, a great self-contained little package. I would love to give this to someone as a gift, to receive this as a gift. This would be a great way to um, uh, spend an afternoon, run through this, do it with someone else, do it together, do it with your kids. And, um, and you get it all in this great little package that you can just fold right back up. So there it is, The Librarian's Apprentice, a solo journaling game in Infinite Library. Um, I, I may have an opportunity later to have a little interview with Daniel, so I'm uh, excited about that. And um, you know, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be digging more into the solo and uh, GM-less genre as we expand the bookshelf. Uh, we do have copies available of this. I'll put a link in the comments below. Of course, if you like what I'm doing here, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep doing them. All right, thanks, everyone.
and happy gaming.